Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm going to be pruning up my downy willow that I got from Zinn. There's a lot of suckers that have come up from the root system, a lot of new shoots, so I'm going to do some shoot selection, prune all the new growth back, get it back under control. It's kind of getting hard to water too because there's so many leaves you can't get into the base of the tree very easily. So, so here I go. All right, here I go with the pruning. So this is the front of the tree and out the back there's kind of a back branch. So I'm going to begin by removing all this growth coming up from the root system. I, I believe this is from the root system. That one might be a weed. Let me see if this is a weed. This could be a weed too, it is. But this one is definitely a shoot from down here. So I'll get rid of that. There's another weed. Pine needle. And there's some more shoots coming from the root base down here that I'll prune away. And hopefully when I'm done all this, there's still some good growth coming off the actual tree. Last year, this had a very weak summer of growth. It came out into leaf early in the late winter and it just never never did well last year. So this year it seems to be growing quite well. So I'll just continue pruning away all this growth from the base of the tree. And I'll pull out all these weeds too. So there's some Irish moss in here that's starting to take over so I've got to make sure I get it all removed otherwise it gets out of control and becomes very difficult to remove in the future so the earlier you get to it the better your chances are for getting rid of it so today I spent about two hours weeding my northern bog forest it had this Irish moss in it, it had all kinds of other weeds, so it was, you know, quite a process getting it all pulled out. And the reason I was pulling it out today is that we got a whole day and night of rain, so the soil was really soft, so every time I pulled a weed out, it came out with the roots, which was really nice. So I did all my weeding while the soil was nice and soft. So here's some more growth coming in from the base of the tree here. Get that out. Okay, so now I need to look at all this new growth and decide what I want to keep and what I want to remove. So I'm going to begin, there, there's a new branch coming off this trunk here that grows parallel to this one, so I don't want that. So I'm going to take that one away. There's growth coming up the front here. I'm going to redirect it to the left hand side. So I'm going to prune in front of a leaf that goes to the left because you can see the dormant bud there at the base of the branch. Like that. There's a branch here that's also kind of sticking straight out the front and I will also I'm just going to prune the tip off again redirecting it to the left hand side. I've got a kind of a cascading branch here. I will keep it. I'll just prune it back shorter. I've got a branch growing up here. I got some buds out here. I'll just prune the tip off. Out here. Out here, I'll also just prune these new shoots back. Making it a little more compact. Now, oh, I just saw some white fly. Now in here I have a cluster of new branches 
Uh, there's two coming up the top. There's another one over here. I, I'm going to shorten them for, for a start. Picking buds that are kind of flowing to the left hand side. And then I'll decide if I keep them once I step back and have a look at the tree. There is a branch coming out the back here and the one is crossing back in towards the center of the tree. I'm going to remove that. And then I'll redirect this one out here. There's a sort of a cascading one here going straight out the bottom. I don't think I want it. I'll keep it for now, but it may come off entirely. There's some new growth coming here. I'll just prune that back. Now, I've got kind of a strong shoot coming out the back here. And it kind of, it doesn't flow outwards with the branch. It crosses more in towards the center of the tree. So I'm going to try redirecting it by pruning it right back to a bud that's facing a better direction. So kind of a hard prune on that branch. Like that. Just taking some older leaves away. There's a little sucker growing at the base here. I'm gonna get rid of that. Now this branch out the back, I'll just clip it back to some buds that are pointing downwards. Kind of removing the tips and making it a bit more compact. There's one kind of growing a funny direction here. I'll remove entirely. And there's one here going a funny direction. I'll get rid of that one. And one here that needs shortening. Ah, that one's got to come off. It's a funny direction. Like that. And then I've got this branch over here that I need to prune up. here, this one back to here, this one to here, and kind of reduce this one back to a dead branch here I'll remove. Okay, and then out front I've got Kind of a branch sticking straight out the front, which is so nice. I'll shorten it and then I'll have a look at the overall look of the tree. Decide if it needs to be removed. I'll shorten these ones. And I'll shorten this one. So that's got the tree made, you know, made a little more compact. So now let's uh, go to the front view and I'll look at the design of the tree and just see if some of these branches need to be removed. Here is a look at the downy willow now. So it's quite a low kind of spreading tree. It's an interesting style. So I'll, I'll rotate it around. So here's the front. There's the right hand side. The back the left hand side and back to the front. So I'm looking at the styling. This branch kind of comes out at you but then it kind of sweeps off. I, I don't mind it too much actually. It's kind of interesting. There's no real kind of upright apex on it but I think, you know, now that I've pruned it, there's a lot of buds back here that it should stimulate some branching in that area. It is very clustered or cluttered in that area. It's going to need some thinning. So I need to pick my best branches and it's not this one. It sticks straight up and there's one behind it. It's like a V and it sticks straight up too. So these are going to come off. So that's gone. 
I, I like this branch. It's sort of nice and flowing. This one's a bit vertical. I'm going to take it back even further. This one, there's one sticking straight out, and then there's another one off to the left-hand side. And this one blocks the trunk line, so I'm going to get rid of that one. There's one growing straight up from the base of these two branches. Get rid of that one. Like that. And the one coming out the front, I could shorten it even more back to a bud here. Redirecting it, kind of flowing a bit more. This one is sticking straight out the front. I think I've got to get rid of that. It's just a real eye poker. Like that. Now, I'm not sure about this. There's a vertical shoot here. I think I better prune that away. Like that. I'll keep this one that's kind of coming up on a bit of an angle. I like this branch up front, but I'm not sure about the one on top here. I think, you know, it's kind of growing underneath the canopy, so I think that one should go. That one's off. And I've got the branch out the front, and there's one coming from the bottom down here I don't want. So I'll take that one away. And then behind this branch there's kind of a bar branch there's one directly behind it that I'll remove also like that there's a branch over here that's a little long I'll take that one back Let's take the tip off and I think this branch isn't doing really well but it's still alive so I'll leave that on This one I could take the tip off. And I think that's got it pruned up. I think it's looking quite good now. So even though it rained all, all day yesterday and the night before, it's quite dry, so I'm going to give it a watering now. All right, here I go with the watering. And this water also has a little bit of fertilizer in it, just to help the tree along. When you get a heavy rain like that, it usually flushes all the fertilizer out of the soil, so it's good to fertilize them after it rains. So that should do. As a final step today, I'll just remove the moss at the base of the tree. There's not a whole lot, but I might as well give it the full spa treatment today. So I haven't repotted this tree yet. So that will be another step in its future. I'm just kind of digging around at the root base here. Yeah, it could be raised in the pot, I'm sure. The roots seem to be quite deep in the soil. Okay, so the next step is just to let the tree grow and recover. And, you know, hopefully it'll just become better and better into the future. Here is one last look at the tree in early spring. So there's the front, the right hand side, back of the tree the left hand side and back to the front. Here's a look at the top of the tree so you can see all the branches are getting light. Outside here is my northern bog forest that I weeded today so it was a big job. There's all kinds of weeds in there and Irish moss. Here's the pile of weeds down here. There was a lot. But it's all weeded now, and I went out and I collected some moss. So tomorrow, I'm going to moss up the forest, so that should be exciting. It should really change the look of the forest. It'll hopefully look a little more miniature. There's a wild turkey in there. <laughs> I 
I don't know how that got there, but yeah, so that'll be fun mossing it up tomorrow. So after a rainy night and day yesterday, we got full sunshine today and nice warm temperatures. So the trees are really going to like that and they're going to grow like crazy. My downy willow that I got from Zinn got quite a spa day today. I pruned it up, weeded it, watered it, fertilized it. It's ready to grow once again. So that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.